Hi people, okay so playing around with the dye again. I don't know if you can see what I've already done. I've tried I've tried feathering it, but it just you can't get it to feather because it run well of course it's dye, it goes into the timber and it spreads, it bleeds. So you can get a transition from light to dark or from dark to light. So I was going to show you how I have tried. So there's a nice, good demarcation between the brown and the and the black there, in comparison to that. So I will show you how I think is the most effective way to do it, and then we'll we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so stick that in there. <coughs> um, I found that the best way to do this so far is not to put anything on the brush at all, but to stick a little bit on my trusty sponge and if I put a bit onto the black and then brush it through get a little bit on the brush and just keep I mean that can go so I found but if I was putting it onto the brush then I was um, just getting too much on it I suspect a stiffer brush might be better as well just keep working it, working it, working it, working it. A bit more on. But it's definitely not getting the feathering effect that you wanted, Paul, I don't think. So I'm very much, I have no idea, I have no idea what I'm doing, I have no idea what I'm doing, so <laughs> this is just me experimenting. If we're going to do this on the bow, I'm going to have to practice a hell of a lot more before we do it. Um, anyway, I'm going to paint, stain the bow brown colour anyway, just so we see what it looks like. But yeah, if we're going to go with this, then yeah, a lot more practice is needed. So, I never claim to be an expert in anything. Well, I'm sure as hell not an expert in anything anyway, so I know a bit about bow making. That's okay. I think it's better to start low and to work towards if there's if you're gonna wherever the blended area is gonna be, if you start low and work towards it, I think that's gonna be the best way of doing it. Because this that's that, that oh, that's not bad, I have to say. That's not bad. I quite like that. Alright, let's get that back in the bin. I do not want to touch the camera to turn it off with all this on my hands. So to the brown. So get the different light going through it. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. And then here's with the lighter. So I suppose you could go with light. You could go the light around the handle, blend the light into the darker brown, off just fade off the, off the handle through the fades. Keep the brown the dark brown all the way through to the tips, maybe. A member of the tips blend the back, the back, the black, the whatever, into into the brown. But anyway, Paul, it's your decision. <laughs> I have no idea how far this seeps into the wood. If it goes wrong, we should be able to sand it all down. 
the bow is still coming in a tiny bit over draw weight so there is room for a little bit of um, sanding and playing around. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.